Finding Secondary Sources on Copyright Law from the Gallagher Law Library. The Gallagher Collection includes a wide variety of materials on copyright law, both in print and electronically. This volume can be a little overwhelming, so a great first stop in your research is the Intellectual Property Research Guide. It includes a copyright section that lists some of the top secondary sources in the field, many of which can be accessed electronically through Lexis or Westlaw subscriptions. The research guide also includes links to Cali lectures. These cover both the basic doctrines as well as the more complex material in the area of copyright law. If you discover you need a wider variety of resources than are highlighted in the research guide, it's time to jump into a subscription database like Westlaw. From the Westlaw homepage, Scroll down to Secondary Sources. From there, you can scroll down again to Topic, and you'll notice that while there isn't a copyright topic, there is one for intellectual property. Clicking on that brings up a lot of results because intellectual property includes not just copyright, but also patents, trademarks, and some other related doctrines. You might consider narrowing it down by jurisdiction or publication type. Selecting texts and treatises will get rid of a lot of those law reviews and other things that might not be what you're looking for, and while it won't leave you with a really small number of results, it will be much easier to pick out the copyright-specific material. Let's return to the Westlaw homepage for a moment, because in addition to their standard secondary sources, Westlaw now also offers practical law, which can be located here or by clicking on the caret next to the logo. Practical Law is a series of checklists, short articles, and forms targeted at working practitioners, but they can also be very helpful for students who are just beginning to understand an area of law. That's why they've been grouped together in the Law School Resource Center. We can click on the Course Study Collection link, and that will bring us to this page, where individual courses are listed. Clicking on Copyright, for example, will bring us to this narrative, outlining each of the Practical Law articles that might be relevant to a student studying copyright law. Lexis Advanced also contains a number of resources related to copyright law. From the home page, we can scroll down and select Practice Area or Industry, and it actually has a copyright law link that we can follow directly. From here, we can access both primary sources and a wide variety of secondary materials. As with other parts of the site, they can be searched or selected manually. Like Westlaw, Lexis also has a series of short articles and forms targeted to practitioners. We can navigate to it by going to the top of the page, selecting this grid in the upper left, and then selecting Lexis Practice Advisor. While there's no copyright option under Practice Area, we do have the option to select Intellectual Property and Technology. Following that link will bring us here, where we can select copyright, either by selecting an individual copyright topic or just the word copyright itself. Now, while these materials are not sorted by individual law school course, they are sorted by format, as you can see here. Practice notes will likely be the most useful for the average law student as they are short descriptions of individual content areas. And finally, University of Washington law students have access to West Academic. This is an electronic portal that allows those students to view horn books, study guides, and other study aids electronically. To be clear, these are electronic versions of otherwise physically published titles on a number of topics usually tied to specific law school courses. For example, we can go to 2L3L subjects, click on the All Subjects link, and view all of the available offerings. Let's start with I for Intellectual Property, follow that link, and here we see that there will eventually be 22 results. Only some of these will be specific to copyright, but they're the same exact material that you would find in the published volumes stacked in the reference area. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. For additional assistance or information, please navigate to the Law Library website, lib.law.uw.edu.